that's sort of what we're hearing from all of these other countries. I would love to see a WikiLeaks dump on what goes on inside WikiLeaks. And I would also really like to see a similar information dump in terms of what's going on inside some of the governments that we're talking about, Saudi Arabia, Iran, uh, Central, you know, Central Europe, there's a whole range of countries that would be, in many ways, probably more interesting than the Americas. Is, how does a lowly, you know, private uh, in a Ford operating base uh, about 70 kilometers east of Baghdad uh, get a hold of, you know, not only the 260,000 odd cables, but also a lot of data on operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, um, as well as some uh, video that you may remember that came out last year uh, from, from various gun cameras on helicopters. How does that actually happen? Well, I, I chalk it up to three sort of related factors. The first was after the September 11th attacks, um, there, was a, there was a huge outcry about, you know, how did this so-called intelligence failure happen? And the, the diagnosis came down to a few things, uh, two of the most important of which were uh, a failure of imagination, that the intelligence community simply couldn't imagine an attack of this type would take place because they were too closed off, they didn't think outside of the box enough, et cetera. And two, there was not enough information sharing. And that, uh, you know, different parts of the government did not receive information from, from one another and were therefore not able to, quote, connect the dots. Uh, so the response to this was get people to think outside of the box more and also to make sure that, that, that none of these stovepipes or, or channels uh, were blocked off and to make information readily available. And this was uh, incorporated into the, to the same law that created the Director of National Intelligence uh, in 2005. So that's one factor, uh, the, the desire to create outside of the box thinking and uh, the, the spread of, in, of intelligence across the community in order to prevent future attacks. The second was, uh, you know, the same thing that sort of swept over the rest of the world in this time period, the information uh, technology revolution. Uh, you know, not so very long ago, the term cable meant cable, like really, you know, teletype cable, um, as you would see in, in an old movie. Now it's, it's all electronic. Uh, the same is true of intelligence reporting of all sorts, human intelligence reports, signals intelligence reports. Every kind of report in the world is now electronic. And uh, just as you can now you know, do various Google searches for, for any number of things. You, you know, the intelligence community has adopted a similar architecture so that you can go searching for whatever it is you think you need in order to serve that, that first function, which is to think outside of the box and to share information. So that, that first factor was amplified uh, a thousandfold by the ability to, to, to harness it to information technology. And the third, and I think why this came out of uh, uh, contingency operating base hammer in Iraq and not out of the central